Our housing market seems to be stable here in Lafayette. Stability helps greater Lafayette's housing market. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Thanks for spending your evening with us. The house buying market in Lafayette area seems to be slow, but stable. Renetta Dubose joins us now with a look at the conditions. Renetta, what would you find out? Well, Jeff, Nicole, builders, bankers, and realtors are all saying that home sales started to pick up this year, especially compared to the slowdown last year. Despite the recession, homes are selling in Lafayette. I would put us in a pretty good shape compared to the Floridas and the Californias and the Arizonas uh, uh, in the United States. Um, uh, Lafayette and the Midwest has been very, very stable um, with um, home buying availability and the purchase transactions. Regents Bank Mortgage Manager Brian Bittner says the volume of home loans have doubled in the first six months of this year compared to last year. He attributes this to lower interest rates, lower payments, and a little help from the federal government. When the government kind of stepped up and, 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 and put some funds into the mortgage-backed securities, um, that really sparked the interest rates to actually lower them down. Tempest Homes production manager Grant Giese says the local job market helps sell homes, but he says home buyers are watching their dollars. Where someone might choose to finish a garage, they're now choosing to do that on their own instead of paying us to do it. Giese says in the past it was common for some home buyers to splurge on stainless steel appliances like this microwave. Now he's saying that most cost conscious home buyers are saving their dollars for other necessities in their home. A little better insulation, it's going to have better insulated windows, the heating and cooling equipment. We have more efficient equipment that is going to um, keep costs low and keep the home running as efficiently as possible. Giese says the federal government is helping the market as well. He says many first time home buyers want to take advantage of the $8,000 tax credit before the end of this year. Renetta Dubose, News Channel 18.